also, as I said, five or ten dollars. All right. We want you to give to them for the use of it, so we can we can take care of it, continue to have stuff here. All right. We ain't gonna put no pressure on you if you don't have it. We're just gonna put a boot on your car downstairs. No, <laughs> oh, it's not going to me. Really. No, it's not <laughs> going to me. Uh, we pay for this. Save the covers right? room. Yeah. I got you. All right. So the name of our company is I Markets Live, and uh, Thank you. I, I wanna I wanna I wanna uh, I want to give an analogy. Okay, here's the analogy. Anybody in here ever go to college? Yes. Went to college, right? Somebody tell me how much college costs nowadays. Anybody know? My loan was ten thousand. Oh, go. All depends on where you go. Okay. But it is all costs, right? So I researched it, and here's what I found: anywhere from twenty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars to go to a four-year school. If you're going to a highly prestigious school like Harvard and all that, you're getting up into the 200,000 range. Wow. Right? Now, what do people, when we're young, our parents and grandparents, what do they tell us why we should go to school? What's the reason they tell us we should go to school? Get a good education. Get a good education and what else? Because they always say something wrong. Like to get a job. job. Right? To get a job. Now, here's the here's the question. Most people who who go to school and get a degree and graduate, do they get a job usually in the field that they uh, were studying in? Do you know statistics say 92% of the people who graduate, they graduate with a degree but don't get a job in the field they, they went to school in. Oh, by the way, turn your phone off, right? <laughs> they graduate and, and don't get a job in the field that they were looking to get a job in, right? So they have to take whatever is available. Here's why. 30, 40 years ago, less people went to college and graduated. But it was more jobs. Today, it's less jobs and more people going to school and graduating. And the reason is because we're in the information age. And in the information age, everything moves fast. Everything moves fast, right? And so the cost of living is rising, right? Inflation is rising, but the amount of money they pay us as jobs is not rising. So how do, how do you compete with that? Well, you better find a way to earn you some additional money yourself and not depend just solely on your job. Now, I'm not telling people not to work a job. That's not what I'm saying. Because wealthy people have multiple streams of income. So your job should be one of your incomes, but you should be able to create another stream of income. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So I Market Live, I'm gonna use this analogy, okay? They are a online financial educational training school. Let me say it again. They are online financial educational training school that trains you how to do Forex marketing. Say it one more time. I Market Live is a online financial educational training school that trains you a skill called 4X trading. So let's jump into this presentation real quick. Oh, man, you don't even have your rocket science to do this, right? All right. Anyone ever heard of Rich Dad Poor Dad, the book written by Robert Kiyosaki? If you haven't heard of this book, you can Google Robert Kiyosaki, and on YouTube, he's got a video up. More importantly, even a bigger book than Rich Dad Poor Dad is The Cash Flow Quantum. Now, uh, Robert also wrote a book with all of your favorite uh, president, Donald Trump, right? I know that's your favorite. He wrote a book with Donald Trump on why they want you to be wealthy. And Donald said if he had to do it all over again, he would do network marketing to create his book. Does that make sense? All right? Now, in this book, Cash Flow Quantum, Robert talks about the four ways in the world that you can produce money. So it's only four ways. The first way is the employee quadrant. Has everybody in here ever been an employee or still an employee? So we understand this quadrant. You're trading time for dollars, right? There's no leverage. You can't create wealth trading time for dollars. I'll, I'll, I'll explain why. This beautiful young lady, let's say she could work 20 hours a day, right? seven days a week for a whole month, years. Now, we know she can because she got to sleep and eat, right? But let's say she could. So if she worked 20 hours a day, 
seven days a week, how many hours is she working a week? Seven times 20, 140, right? Everybody? Boy, y'all are smart, right? So she worked 140 hours, 140 hours in a week. How many is that in a month? So 140 times two is 280, 280 times two is 560. Everybody see that? So she working 560 hours a month. Now, if she could do that, number one, she'd be dead, right? <laughs> Anybody working that many hours, right? But if she could do that, she still has not leveraged herself. Let's say I own 10 McDonald's, right? And let's say I had 10 employees working at every McDonald's. And I gave them 50 hours a week. So just at one McDonald's, 10 hours times 50 is 500 a week. That's 2,000 hours I got working just at one McDonald's. 2,000 hours. 2,000 times 10, what is that? Anybody brilliant enough, smart enough to tell me that is? 20,000 hours I got working for my paycheck while she's working 560. Notice I said, these are hours working for me, I'm not even working. Does that make sense? Leverage. So as an employee, you cannot create, le create leverage. People who are employees want security. People who are employees have been conditioned. What's up, Hiram? How you doing, young man? It's good to see you. Man, I got, I got something for you here later, man. Uh, people who uh, uh, create leverage for themselves can live life. You know, most of us are surviving life. You can live life when, you, when you're able to create leverage. Okay? So the employee, 60% of people in the world are employees. Then you have the self-employed. These are people who own a job. In other words, they're your doctors, chiropractors, CPAs, uh, people who do taxes, right? They own a job because they got to be there. They're still trading time for dollars. They don't work, they don't get paid. They don't work, they don't get paid. Okay? Now, this makes up 95% of the people in the world. Y'all see that? But they only earn 5% of the world's wealth. 95% of the people in the world, 5% of the world's wealth. Now, Robert says on the right side, you have big business owners. Now, what is a big business owner? Robert says a big business owner is anyone that has 500 plus hours a month working on their behalf. You saw, you saw how I showed you this illustration? Someone with Tim McDonald's. But the person with one McDonald's got over 500 hours working on their behalf, right? So anybody who has 500 hours working on their behalf, the only way you can have 500 plus hours working on your behalf is work 20 hours a day, seven days a week. For a month. Now, I got a quick question to ask. And everything up here takes a mindset, right? It's a mindset. To be an employee, you have to have a mindset. We've been conditioned with that mindset since we were look. You go to school, get a good job, Know, go, to, go to college, get a better education, you get a better job. The challenge with that is, is that just getting, getting college does not mean you're going to get a good job. Because when we were younger, I mean, most everybody here is young. When I was younger, you could actually get an interview and go sit down with somebody and they interview you and they decide if they want you. Now, you got to submit a resume against a thousand resumes even before they call you for an interview. So they may not even call you because somebody else knows how to do a better resume. I appreciate you, Chapman. I know you had to work late, man, and you're here. You're a good man. That's why you That's why you went, right? What time you got off this morning? Five o'clock. Five o'clock this morning, but yet he's here. And he got off at 3.30. This is office in here. That's winners. That's the people you look for that you want on your team, okay? Now, you want everybody because you love them, because they might lead you to some winners. Does that make sense? All right, so you got big business owners. These people create leverage with systems. Network marketers can be big business owners. You build a team, you know, 50 people, 100 people, all right? Now, here's the thing. I don't want you to think of yourself as a network marketer, because some of you think you're doing network marketing. And everything is a mindset. As a man thinking, so is he. You're not a network marketer. And, and if you're failing, it's because you think you are. Let me tell you what we are. We're business people, business men and women, okay? All right? <coughs> Choose to use network marketing to create a residual stream of income. But you can choose real estate to do the same thing. 
or you could choose insurance to do the same thing, or you could choose being a graphic artist to do the same thing. But business people choose to use network, because network marketing is a system. That's all it is, okay? It's a system. All right, and then you have the investor. Investor, uh, only 1% of the people in the world invest their money. 1%. But 99% of those people are wealthy, okay? Um, if you look at it, 5% of the people fall on the right side. 5%, they earn 95% of the world's wealth. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you, how many of you um, have children? Anybody here have children? Okay. Um, do you want better for your children or worse for them? You want better for your children? Okay. So now, how many of you here work a job? Keep your hands up if you would look now. Now, I'm not saying appreciate because we're grateful and we definitely appreciate our jobs, right? But well, how many of you in here just love your job? Raise your hand. It's okay if you do. Raise your hand if you love your job. Okay. Here's what I say. Anything you love, do for free. <laughs> Anything you love, do for free. Do you know I do network marketing for free? They choose to pay me. I'll take it, but I do it for free. People go, you don't do it for free. You know, we live in Akadosh, it's three hours away. I'm here almost every week. I do presentations two or three times a day. I, but see, what I know is, okay, what I know is that whatever I do, I, I can see the end from the beginning. So I know whatever I sow in now, we're gonna build a big enough team that we can teach people, and they'll, we'll find the ones who wanna make the sacrifice, and they'll be doing it later to build a bigger team. Does that make sense? So 5%, now let me ask you, would you rather be on the left side or the right side? Right side? Right side, right? Side, right? Yeah. The left side is employee and self-employed, the right side is business owner and investor. How many people would like to be on the right side? Okay, we're going to show you today how you can get to the right side, okay? Now, what is I Mark This Live? Again, all right, can y'all tell me what it is? I told y'all like three, four times. It's an online financial educational training school. Right, you got to get that down because if you get that down, people will catch the picture. The, picture. the company don't say that they are, but from looking at it, I came up with that because you got to be able to paint the picture to someone when they're talking to you. Don't start going, oh, it's this trading stuff. You're going to confuse people. You're going to lose them. All right, that's too complicated for me. But if you say it's an online financial educational training school that teaches you Forex, people go, oh, okay, yeah. Because everybody, everybody knows, everybody knows, um, you know, everybody knows about being in school. Okay, everybody knows that. Now, the company has taken two industries, forex and future trading, and combined it with network marketing. All right, forex and future trading is a 5.3 trillion dollar a day industry. It's the largest industry in the world when you're talking about in the financial market. Everybody should know what network marketing is, but what you may not know is there's over 10,000 companies involved, $180 million in sales per year, 130 million people work in network marketing, right? For entrepreneurism, has anybody here ever wanted to own their own business? Anybody ever wanted to own their own business? Well, most businesses are going to cost you a lot of money. In network marketing, you can get involved for as little as $2,000 or less. This company, you can get involved for $200 or less, and you can learn business skills, okay? The key is most people don't, don't treat it like a business. We're gonna teach each and every you how to professionally treat it like a business. You know, I don't I don't treat it like a used car sales line. I don't try to sell people in this business. I show them enough value that if they can't see it for themselves, then I don't want them on the team anyway. It's not for everybody, right? Because everything is tiny. It's God's tiny. You, I might have a sharp person, but the timing might not be right in our life right now, so don't try to push it and force it on. Does that make sense? What is Forex? It's the buying and selling of currency. I'll give you an example. If you were traveling uh, to Europe, when you went to the airport, right, you'd have to take your American dollars and trade them in for Euros or European dollars. That's Forex, because every time a transaction like that happens anywhere in the world, guess what? Somebody's making money off of it. So it might as well be us, right? It's also, as I said, the largest financial market in the world. You can operate it from your smartphone, 
And how many people have a savings account or checking account? Anybody? Okay, well, your bank is taking your money and trading in the Forex market, making profit, but not giving you any of it. Mm -hmm. Our company was founded in 2013 by Christopher Terry. Let me say this, let me say this a lot. Christopher Terry is not a network marketer and doesn't want to be. He's a professional trader over 22 years, okay? Com uh, the company was established in over 120 countries. Uh, what Christopher did was surround himself with over 100 years of experience of network marketing, okay? And it's a financial platform. What do I call it? An online education. Did I say it right? Did I say it right? I want to see who's on it. What is it again? Get that down to where it rolls off your tongue. Because people don't go, what are you doing? Well, I'm involved with an online financial educational training school that trains in the largest you know, industry in the world, uh, financial industry in the world, for its trading. Tell me more. But if you just said, well, I'm doing 4X, you know what 4X is, let me explain it, you just throw up on them, they ain't listening at all. He has an impressive track record, all right? The biggest thing is, this guy has made a lot of money trading. That's important to me, all right? Because if I got a CEO, and he's sharing with us how he's gonna teach us how to do it, I wanna make sure his track record shows he's done it before. Fair enough? All right, now how can you make money in our markets live? Well, <clears throat> we have seven educational platforms, all right? So if this is an online school, you wanna know that they have educational platforms that they can teach you. All right, they fall in three categories. The first category is no experience. So you don't have to have any experience for the first three educational platforms. The first one is AutoTrader, okay? What AutoTrader is, is easy to install software. And we're gonna have our, 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 our training expert come up. I'm not even gonna cover the conversation plan, okay? I'm just gonna go through the first part of this because I wanna get uh, the training on the, uh, the trading done. And I wanna give them ample time to do it, okay? Uh, but you can easily install software, okay? And what you're banking off of is the company has professional traders all over the world. Uh, when you when you set Auto Trader up, you can go in there and look at their stats. Or some was showing me that the other night, and you can pick which trader you want to partner with, right? And then you set it up, and it's 100% hands free. I'm just kind of using an example. Let's say you put $300 in there. I don't know what what the what the minimum you can put. You'll tell you that. But let's say it was $300, and you said you you. Pick one of the traders, and you want to trade that out on the five dollar increments, one dollar increments, whatever. Right? You set it up, and you don't have to worry about it no more. While he's trading for him, your money is getting traded for as well. You're banking on his expertise and experience. Does that make sense? Now remember, the company, the traders have well over 25 years' experience. These guys know what they're doing. They've made money in this, lots of money in this. Their return on investment rate says over 60%, but my son was showing me some of them had over 100% return on investment rate. All right? So, so you get to see their stats and choose who you want, okay? The next one is swipe trades. Now, you go to the Apple Store or Google Play, and you download the IML Signals app. These professional traders, what they do is they do the research on trades, you're going to get alerts or, 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 or text messages with different trades. You get to copy and paste it into your brokerage account. Again, you don't need no experience. You bank it on their research and the fact that they have a track record of being a successful trader. Does that make sense? So you can earn money even before you learn how to do it yourself. The third one, again, no experience, is daily swing trade. Now, this is Christopher Terry, the CEO sends you an email with a chart and video about what I call his trade of the day. So now you're banking on the CEO's experience, 22 plus years, you know, uh, made over 44 million last year trading, right? And you get to piggyback off of him and earn money. So the first three, you don't need no experience. The second two is the educational platform where we start teaching you, the ones that want to do it, learn themselves. And the company has 70% of the people that get involved in this company are still customers. Meaning, all they want to do is learn how to trade, okay? So the harmonic pattern scanner for Forex, uh, this, particular, this particular product is so powerful that uh, professional traders who are not even in iMarkets Live utilize this tool. They call it the most powerful tool in the market. 
right? This is the tool that we have. Now, this is a course where they teach you how to read the harmonic pattern stamp. When to go in, put your money, when to come out. They begin to teach you so you can start doing this yourself. The next one is, uh, the next one is uh, also the educational part. We call this IML Academy. So this is where you're going to get basic training, intermediate training, and advanced training on Forex and the harmonic uh, pattern scanner. Now, you can't take intermediate until you pass basic. You can't take advanced until you pass intermediate. Does that make sense? But this is over 100 hours of videos, over 100 hours of you know, uh, the CEO and owner explaining to you all the things you need to know on Forex so you can learn to do it yourself. Now, here's the thing we tell people. You're able to set up a demo account and a live account. Don't be anxious to go live too fast. Practice with that demo account. Learn what you're doing. Come to as many trainings as you can. Get in your back office and look at all the videos as you can. Now, I'm not telling you not to go live, and I never will, but this is, our goal is not to get people in here and put a, dump a whole bunch of money in way before they know what they're doing and lose their shirts. That's not what this is about. It's a school. We want you to learn. Okay? We've got a couple of people that went live already, but they're going live with a quarter and 10 cents. Uh, one dude, uh, and Jay Shine, uh, put a quarter in his live account and he made back $9. Right? So that's a profit. But, you know, we want you to do, make sure that you're being counseled and coached. All right, so we have the live trading room. Now, this we call the interactive part. In the live trading room, this is where you get to look at Christopher Terry over his shoulder trading. Okay, you get to look over his shoulder while he's trading. All right, he'll have all of his screens up, and he'll be explaining to you what he's doing. He'll be talking. He'll be, he'll be coaching you as he's trading live. Okay? And then the last one is IML TV. And IML TV... This is multiple languages. So you got somebody that speaks Spanish, they click on that channel. You got somebody that, you know, from Europe or London, they click on that channel. And you're gonna hear from expert traders all over the world. Okay? So now remember this. Ten years ago, uh, you had to have three million dollars in a bank to trade for it. It was only for the wealthy. They deregulated about nine years ago and open it up for the masses. Now, the challenge with that is nobody was teaching the masses how to do it. So professional traders, they start charging anywhere from $5,000 to $25,000 per class. They usually do it on a Saturday. The challenge with that is you needed 15 to 20 plus classes to learn how to do it. So it's still not affordable to the masses. Christopher Terry came up with an idea, by the way, I got that information from him because he used to be one of the traders that charged $25,000 a head. He said he'd have 200 people in the room for a one-day class. He said, but he knew when they left there, they, they still didn't have enough knowledge to go out and do it themselves. So he created this platform, and he made it affordable, only $195 your initial pay. Everybody comes in as a customer. We pay $145 a month, all right? If you went to college, you paid more than that a semester for college to get a job we still haven't got yet. And we're still paying for that college with our student loans. But yet here is a skill you'll be able to learn to take with you. But the company says if you don't want to pay that, that 145, then all you got to do is refer two people and it's free. All right? Two other people that want to trade. Don't think you got to find two people who want to recruit the market. No. I look for people who want to trade. And then I look to help them get day two. Because if they get day two, it's free now. And if they learn how to trade, they go, hey, listen, girl, I made this amount of money and I invested this. Well, guess what? They recruited without recruiting. Because they got a story. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, now, if you choose to do the marketing side, I said I want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hey, young man, are you a guest or are you already involved? I'm a guest. Huh? That's what yeah. That's your guess, right? Yeah. It's a guess. Okay. So I mean, that's he, why. He got on late, too. But yeah, so that's why I said, let me show the money, because I know we got two people on your website. Huh? He just signed up. Oh, we just got somebody signed up. Let me no tell you. Okay, bro. Let me tell everybody who's on here. All right? Uh, Solace and Anthony Butler was on a three way with him at 10 30 this morning. Put me on a three way with him as well. I invited him. All right? He said, I got to go to work at 1 30. He says, but I'll come into that. 
So he was here for, before most of y'all. In 30 minutes, well, not, not y'all. But, but my point to that is he made a decision quickly. Most people got to pray on it, dream on it, all that. He's 23 years young. Not only did he make a decision, Sostom kept talking to him, he made a decision to join and signed up while he was here. Even before, now he saw Davis videos, because we do the PS3, right? But he, needs, he hadn't seen the presentation. This is the first time seeing him. The reason I say that is, guys, there's people out there. So if you believe, man, I haven't found nobody yet, it's because you're thinking that and you're saying it. Don't think it, don't say it. Just go do the work, right? So congratulations, young man. So let me show the pay plan real quick, and I want to get Greg there. All right, so here's how our pay plan works. Everybody comes in as a what? Customer. Everybody comes in and say it one more time? Customer. Customer. Nobody has a distributor. All right? This is on purpose. Okay? Um, when you come in as a customer, how much do you pay? 195. What's our first goal to help you with? What's the first thing you want to do? Get those two? You want to get your two people so the 145 goes away. It's free. All right? Now, if you choose to do the marketing side, you need to recoup one more person before we let you upgrade. Now, keep in mind, you can come in as an IBO. They have that in the back office. But we don't want to teach that. We don't want to train that. Here's why. There's a 55% rule that you got to have 55% of your people as customers. And if you let people come in as an IBO, you're going to throw that rule off and you ain't going to lose money. How do I know that? Because I let people do it when I first started and then I lost some money. Okay? Uh, I could have been, I could have been, the day I joined, I could have been a Platinum 2000. But because I let people come in as IDO, it was only a Platinum 600 the day I joined. So you saw that's the difference in money, right? So, so you think I had to be told again, right? Everybody comes in as a customer. Right? Everybody. Now, we, we, we uh, everybody comes as a customer. First goal, we want to help them get that two, so that one. Now, they've got 30 days before they have to pay that, right? 30 days before they have to pay the 145. So we got 30 days to help them find two. Once they find two, we want to get that third person. And, 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 and then we want to upgrade. Now let me tell you why. Okay. I'm going to use an example. Let's say on February 1st, you came in at 195. So March 1st, you owe 145. Right? Here I got that. March 1st, 30 days later, you owe 145. Let's say you got your two people, February 20th. So the 145 went away, right? Let's say February 28th, you got your third person. Now you can upgrade for $15. You upgrade for $15 on February 28th, right? Guess when you have to pay the 145 again? March 28th. Let me say that again, because y'all missed it. Right? We come in on February 1st. February 1st. So you got to pay the 145 when? March 1st. March 1st. 30 days later, right? Let's say February 20th, you got your two people. February 20th. You got your two people. So what happens to the 145? Goes away. Goes away. And if you never get a third person, it's gone. As long as you got two. But when you get, let's say you got that third person, February 28th, and you upgrade. February 28th, you got your third person, and you upgrade. $15. All right, now, I'm gonna, I'm, I gotta check with the company to make sure they do it this way, but I'm almost sure they do it, okay? They can only do it one or two ways, right? But, but, I, but I believe they put this, this is the way I believe they do it. I believe that when you upgrade it on the 28th, now, because you're an IBO, that 145 comes back, we know that. But it comes back to where you are to pay it to March 20th. 30 days later. Okay. Now, 
That's the way I believe they do it. The only other way they can do it is this way. Have it come back, okay, on the, on the 28th, and then have you pay the 145 still March 1st, and $15 the 28th. But, I, but I, I believe they do it the way I just told you. I'll get that clarified, but I'm almost sure. Once you come back and upgrade, then it's 30 days from here. Because you're not an IBO yet, so they can't charge you if you got you two. That's why we want you to get, get, you, get in as a customer so it buys you some more time. Everybody got that? All right, now, you got your three people. The company pays you $35 in fast on bonus for anybody you sponsor. Now, you're going to get some people who are customers and they never want to do anything with trade. They may get their two people, they may not. They may just pay their 145 because they may make more money in trading than that, right? So if that is the case, the $35 Let's say they got two people. Let's say you got somebody that just wanted to trade and they got two people. All right? They never became an IBO. Well, the $35 goes up to you. Does everybody see that? Because we can't pay customers. We only can pay IBOs. The only way customers get paid is through trading, but our company doesn't pay them. Y'all understand that? Our company makes no money on brokerage fees. We make no They're actually trading in the real marketplace. We're just educating them on how to do it. Everybody got it. All right. So we pay we pay um, thirty five dollars for fast starts. When you hit platinum six hundred, you get ten dollars on anybody they recruit. When you hit platinum one thousand, you get five dollars on anybody they recruit. Here's what I want to tell you: When we do the training here this afternoon after they do the travel tra uh, the travel the trading uh, training, we're going to show you that our goal is to help you if you you want to do the marketing. To get in and in your first week, get your three people. So you know, when you get three people, the company pays you residually $150 a month. They call that platinum on 50. So they pay you $35 per person you sponsor, and you can sponsor more than three, but we only build three teams. You sponsor four for a fifth or six, they go beneath your team to help you. Alright? They also pay you residually $150 a month, but we pay, this company pays residually weekly. So you're going to get $37.50 a week. So with just three people, even though the 145 has come back, you're making enough to cover that. Did everybody see that? So what we want to do, help you get your, your three people at least by your first week, help you get the next level, which is 12 people, by your second week, which is platinum 600, where your residual is 150 a week. How do we do that? We want to start working with these people to get their three. If they don't get their three, you get them put them down there. It doesn't count for them to get three persons. But it still counts for you to get to platinum 600. Everybody see that? And then our goal is the next two weeks is to get you to platinum 1000. So we want to create enough stories that in people's first 30 days they get to platinum 1000. Now listen to me, listen to me. You don't have to move as slowly as I just said. You can hit platinum 1000 in your first day, your first week. My son did it in his first three days. Right? You move swiftly if you believe you can move swiftly. Okay? 30 people on your team, 250 a week. And it goes up from there. Uh, the goal is for you to get to Platinum 1000. Hey, by the way, Moss, I forgot to tell you. Did you bring any tickets with you? Yes. Okay, good, good. I should know if you are. You're a good man. So we're having a, a, a Super Saturday. David Gimonitier uh, is having a Super Saturday on the 11th of March. Okay, tickets are $15, but here's what I would recommend. Get together, three of you, put your money together, and you can get three tickets for $30. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Did you follow that? One ticket is $15, three tickets is $30. So you only ban 10 of these, rather than 15. You follow it? Uh, you get enough people together on your team, you know, some of us need we're going to be buying 10, 20 tickets at a time to make sure. Because at Super Saturdays, you don't want to just be there. You want to have people with you, okay? Uh, conversation plan, I mean, to get to 10,000, you just need 500 active on your team. Here's the beautiful part. You're not bringing all those people in, okay? Then we have um, the rank achievement bonuses, one time from 500 to 2,000, 200,000, I'm sorry. And then Chairman Club, when you get to Chairman 10, guys, besides earning 10,000 a month, besides the 10s and 5s and 35s coming up, also can earn 1% in all three of your legs 
until he caps out at another ten thousand a month. Did you, did you catch that? <laughs> so anyway, I want to. I want to. This is this is a uh, pretty lucrative, but we can talk about it later. But I want to uh, bring up. I want to get our, our, our training started on the trading side. How many people want to learn how to trade? Yeah. How many people trading already? You already set up. Keep your hands up. Don't leave here today without being set up. Okay. Um, so what I want to do right now is I want to bring up a young man that's uh, real special to me, man. I remember meeting him, and he helped me out of a tough situation, man. He helped me out of a, a tough situation. Uh, and uh, he's, uh, he's always looking to serve people, and he's always looking to help. Uh, I just tell people don't take advantage of it, don't overdo it, you know, because he's also uh, Mr. David E. Monitier's assistant, so he's got that on his table as well. But he will always help you with this. He went live, so he got in with David in October. He went live in the marketplace of trading January 1st, so in three months. So he knows what he's doing. Maybe he'll tell you some of his testimonies and uh, of what he's done uh, trading-wise, but I want you to take notes or record or you know, uh, but I want you to understand that the most important, what do you believe is the most important part of the business? Do you believe it's the trading, or do you believe it's the recruiting with all that money? Which one do you believe it is? It's the trade. Well, why are y'all so quiet? It's the, <laughs> it's the trading. Let me tell you why, because if you don't have a product, you can't make the money on the back end. If you don't have a product where people are actually learning and benefit from, you can't make the money. So, you know, I told my son, you gonna have to focus on trading. I'm gonna focus on the on the uh, marketing. He said, "No, Dad, you gonna focus on both, and I'm gonna focus on both." And it made much sense, right? So, without further ado, please help me welcome uh, Mr. Gregory Moss, all the way from the Southwest side. <laughs> Give it up! Woo! Moss. Great. Right, great. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait before you start. Let, let, me, let me say something. I did a training, yeah, you guys haven't got this training yet, but I did a training talking about thoughts, feelings, and words. And this is what controls your income. So when somebody says, how you doing? You're like, I'm great. Some of you, I ain't even say nothing. You're controlling your income by the way you feel. Right. Anybody ever hear me when they when somebody asks me how I'm doing? Anybody ever hear what I say? What I say? Great. Outstanding. What I say? If I was doing any better, you too. Here's some of what I say. I said I'm doing awesome with a capital A, mm -hmm. and I'm working on getting better. Yeah. And I say it with conviction in my voice because it's true. Because as a man thinketh, so is he. But as a person speaks, your words are speaking to you. So you go, oh, <laughs> just hang it in there. No, that's Snoopy's job. <laughs> so, so Mars, you ask them again. I, I, I think they understand now. So, awesome. how's everybody doing today? Oh, oh, they're great. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Mr. King, is it possible? Yes. 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 It's cold over here. How about if I turn it this way? Okay. Yeah. Let me turn the gals in the middle. Why can't you turn back? No, that's fine. So, uh, thank you definitely to the King family. Isn't that an awesome last name? Yeah. <laughs> that Mr. Mr. King was talking about for the event on the 11th. Uh, so we'll have some in the back for you guys. Um, and like he said, three for 30. I'm inviting guests and seeing from Mr. David Monitier, the, exec, the vice president of the company, uh, Alex Morton, and also a chairman 50 of the company who's uh, very, very strong in the business. So seeing these testimonies and these people talk at the event will be very powerful. What to you and also to your guests, okay? Hey, Gregory, before you get started, too, I want to repeat this because some people weren't here yet. Um, we're asking all the IBOs, people who are in the business, exception you, you just got in, so we'll, 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 we'll give it. We're asking y'all to donate, to give either 10 or $5 to uh, Damon Coleman to cover. And whatever is not covered, then, you know, my wife and I are going to make sure we give Damon the, the remainder. But we have to pay for this facility. And here's the key. 
we get 30 people, which I know we will, because we've got, how many we got today? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is our first time doing it. we got 17. We get 30 people coming, and we pay $5 a piece. That covers the room for three hours. All right, so anything you can give. Damon, raise your hand. That's Damon Coleman right there. Thank him for the facilities. Right, y'all make sure y'all 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 help him out. For those of you who already have done that, we appreciate you. I won't interrupt you anymore, Mom. Take okay. <laughs> All right. So so my time here uh, will be about trading, um, but I won't talk so much on. I will talk more so on the foundation of the mindset of trading, more so than anything else, because of the system that we have in place. Uh, I markets lives where you can actually go to your back office and see the trading, see the IML Academy. You can go to the live trading rooms. Uh, so I'm talking more so on the mindset of it. I will touch on some vocabulary of trading, and I know uh, you are focused fully on trading, so I'll touch on some things for you. Uh, so the foundation. Well, my name is Gregory Moss. Uh, start there. Uh, from Detroit, Michigan, born and raised in Detroit. Came here to pursue law school seven years ago. I uh, studied political science with a, uh, with a minor in pre-law. Uh, did some studying over, overseas and things like that. And got into the entrepreneurial realm my sophomore year in college. Uh, and been in it ever since. And God has con constantly placed me uh, around people who elevate me. And so, great to be here. Um, so trading, 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 trading is a art form. A lot of people think that it's not. It's really an art form. And anything that you have, that's an art form. It's, it's, a, it's a mindset that goes behind it. It's a, it's a study. It's a practice, right? So if you think of dancing or if you think of music, if you think of anything that requires both sides of the mind, it's an art, but it's also time that's, that's necessary to commit to it. So with trading, Forex or commodities, whatever it is, but we're focusing on Forex, uh, foreign exchange, uh, you're going to have to give up some things. You're going to have to give up some things. And the biggest thing is sleep. And, and I'm going to tell you why. It's because it's something new for you. So I know most people have jobs, uh, normal jobs that's 9 to 5 or 8 to 4 or whatever it is. And a lot of things happen in the Forex market at nighttime, especially the training side of things with high market slot, right? So you have the London session. You have the uh, tea house, and those things happen on the Houston time zone at 11 p.m., and the London house is at 1 a.m., right? So these are things that's happening four to five times a week. And sometimes our, our CEO, uh, Christopher Terry, sends out his daily swing trades maybe at midnight, you know? So you're watching a short video from him, maybe five minutes, telling you and showing you different pairs that you should enter in but those pairs might, might boom at one or two in the morning. So, of course, we all know that the cost of something is what you're willing to give up. And uh, in Forex, it's gonna be sleep for a short period of time, um, especially learning a new art form. Uh, if I can really press upon anybody in here, it's don't be lazy with this. You know, your body is used to sleep, I get that, but we're gonna talk about the balancing of sleep and everything else and rest when it comes to forex because forex is just not the trading of currency. I promise you, you, you have to you have to eat right, right? Because if you're willing to give up sleep, your body needs to get some some nourishment in other departments to where you can stay up. So we're going to talk about all those all those different things. This is good. <laughs> so so um the eating the eating eating right uh, drinking water. Uh, you won't hear many people talk about the eating side of trading, and a lot of you probably may click out about the eating, but it's very important because uh, if you're up at, at those nights, you know, constantly five days out of the week and for months at a time, you know, you can crash. And if you're not setting the proper foundation with what you're putting in your body, whether it's water, whether it's fruits, whether it's vegetables, whether it's beans or fish or baked chicken or things like that, then you can crash. And also, those things help your mind process a lot better when you're, when you're nourishing your body, right? So, so a lot of people, for this, it's a new art form, it's a new new way of thinking, new way of looking at numbers, and you need everything that tip-top shape, from from your body motion to to your rest to to studying the uh, platform of trading. 
Um, we know it's a it's a it's an art form. Um, and some things that we're going to talk about real quickly. I'm only going to be in front of you for about 15 minutes to give you a few things. Uh, but trading in IML or period, uh, you have certain terminologies like spreads. If you want to write them down, spreads, uh, pips. You have uh, something called a stop loss. And I'll slow down a little bit, and I'll, I'll hit on each of these. But you also can go back and research. Um, and the uh, Forex Dictionary on Google. So stop loss, uh, point of entry, uh, take profit. We have talked about, well, it said spreads, we said pips. Um, you want to you learn about your margin, your margins, uh, your leverage. Yeah. Certain currencies, those are the they are most profitable at certain times of day, right? Because if you're if you're looking at the euro versus something, nine times out of ten the euro is going to move when America is sleeping the most, because the European country is waking up at that time, so you have more people moving and trading, right? When you're talking about the Japanese currency, you know you want to look at their time. And those, those currencies are moving quicker when these countries are all waiting. So that's why uh, eating is very important to uh, catching the most profit in trading when you're trading certain pairs because the country in which that pair is in will move the quickest when that country is awake because it's more being processed, right? Yeah. Uh, so the time zones for pairs, certain pairs, there are certain pairs that are the strongest pairs, the most popular pairs, and you can go through those from the USD to the Euro to the Great British Crown to the, the Japanese Yen to uh, the Australian dollar. You can go through those in your back office and see a video that shows you matching those, those things up. Um, so all that is in your back office, uh, your imltrain.com, um, I'll also be here to help people s set up their broker and connecting your broker to your IML account. Uh, what else can we talk about? Risk, risk, managing, managing your account. So let's say in your broker account, you put $50 in, right? So there's something that we want to focus on uh, that, I, that I took from uh, some people that I heard. Uh, heard that prof profit very well in trading, and that's 10% a day. You want to focus on 10% a day from now, right? Whether it's your demo account or your live account, 10% a day. And my advice uh, to you that I've received from other people is with your demo account, you definitely want to stay on your demo account for at least two to three months, right? Two to three months in your demo. That's five and a half days out of the week that the market is open. Uh, and stand on your demo account. And what I think is so great about a demo account is that this guy right here will be 17. He'll be 18 in July, right? So he has five months to prepare and learn and study on a demo account. On his 18th birthday, he can go live, right? So same wow. thing. We all want to understand that mindset is it's no rush in forex. Not a rush, all right? So, and as far as the trading part of Forex, take your time, set up your demo, play on your demo, study the demo, invest in the demo, and the uh, the amount of money that you will put in the demo, I would say put in the amount that you would pretty much put in a live account, all right? So, if you have to put in fifty thousand in a live account, put fifty thousand in your demo. Account. But if you know that's not realistic right now for you, do do a thousand, you know, do two thousand, do five hundred, and start working with lock size. So I'm gonna stop here for a second and focus on the word lock, right? So you guys want to write that word down too? Lock. Your lock is the amount that you're putting on a bet. Okay. So you can do 
more research with that word, uh, very important. But lot is also congruent with left with leveraging your account okay. and also managing your account. Right? You don't want to over leverage, over leverage your account. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. But the biggest thing with trading is that we can we can maintain a risk of what's going to be lost. Right, so you want to get into one of the words I gave you was stop loss. Even with your demo account, you want to be very, very, uh, very, very conscious of always putting in the stop loss. The stop loss will manage your account, right? Based on how much you're risking. You never want to risk more than two percent of your account. And you would know the two percent based on your lot size or the amount that's already in your account. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So we can always control risk, uh, which is very important. And I'm gonna focus on the demo account for about two minutes right now. Uh, in your demo account, there are certain vocabulary words or words or numbers that you quite might not understand, and it's okay, right? Because it's a demo account. But what you want to do is get involved. In a trading app, in a training aspect of IML, and whatever they're talking about, implement it immediately in your demo account. If, if they send you a signal, you know, the stop loss, the take profit, the entry point, you want to immediately enter into the MetaTrader 4 and play with it. If you don't understand what's going on, people are here to answer questions. Uh, if I had if I could, I'll actually pull it up for you right now to go go through it, but I'll be here for a second. After this, if you have any questions, why, I, don't, I don't know how to connect my phone. Uh, so I'll be here to answer some questions about how to implement a stop loss, how to implement a take profit, uh, some stop loss, or some uh, entry points. Um, and, and remember, wealthy people, become more wealthy by getting really good at something that's profitable, right? And doing it consecutively. So I understand that, I know for me, the studying part of trading was not that exciting. But the profit part is very exciting. But it takes time to really understand the profit side, because it is an art, right? You know, it's numbers, and numbers are predictable. Uh, and we definitely want to get to a point to where we can do it ourselves, although coffee has given us access to wins and access to trades that are very profitable. But understanding the mindset that comes behind it, which is very important, of uh, how they think, why they think, why they chose this fair at this particular time. Uh, so you always want to look at time, you want to look at the pip, you want to look at the spread of a, of a, of a trade, Right. Uh, you want to look at your lot size and 10%, 10%. So, so the 10% that I, I didn't focus on is, is the compounding part of an of a account. So let's say we have an account that has $50 in it, right? Whether it's in your demo or your live account, we'll focus on 10% a day. 10% a day, small lot size. If you have an account that's $50, your lot is going to be 0 0.01, okay, 0 0.01, uh, and, and compounding over a 90-day period, which is about 63 days of trading, that $50 turn into about 21000 okay, 21000 $50 count, whether it's demos or live, compounding 10% a day, right, so First day is $50, the second day is what, $55, right? The third day is $60.50. Over a 90-day period, which the market will be only open for 63 of those days, that account is about $21,000. No, this is either you doing it, your demo account, or your live account, or both, right? Uh, so compounding 10% a day, you always want to have a focus just like everybody in here looks business oriented, like you've been in other business before, uh, trading is no different. You know, you, you want to set a goal. 
definitely want to set a goal for your accounts every day that you're, you're, you're trading. Um, and if you don't, I promise you, eight out of 10, you're gonna lose because your, your, your energy has no, no focus. Absolutely, absolutely, no direction. Uh, and energy mindset is very important when it comes to trading. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, write this down. If you lose, whether in your demo account or your live account, you don't want a revenge trade. Okay? If you lose in your live or demo account, you never want to revenge trade. What is revenge trading? Revenge trading is I lost some money, oh, I'm about to get this back. So now I'm about to over leverage my account. And what's going to end up happening most of the time, you're going to lose more than what you lost before. Because now your emotion is tied to uh, 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 anger of the market versus the, the, the mindset and the reading of the market. Does that make sense? Okay. Never revenge trade. And under that, never over leverage your account. I understand we want to grow quick. So when you say never over leverage your account, explain that for me. So I'll sure okay, so so if you have a hundred dollar account, you're not you're not your your lot size is not gonna be one. That is extreme over leverage of an account of a hundred dollars. One will be like a dollar, oh, wow. kind of sort. Okay. Okay. Even at a hundred dollar account, your lot size should still be point zero one. <laughs> All right. So uh, you can also do some uh, research on leveraging and your margins, margins, uh, your lot size according to the size of your account. Uh, but over leveraging will will burn your accounts, and I'm speaking from experience. Okay, um, either with my demo or my live, I, I've got to a point to where when I first went live, I was winning. My first day, I turned 41 cents. Now I have more money in the account. So so when people say 41 cents and 25 cents, that's what the lot size added up to. Yeah. That's not what, what was only in the account. Does that make sense? Okay. So the lot size of that day, my first day, was a total of 41 cents uh, over three different trades, and that was turned into about $35 in profit. Uh, right? So I was winning for a few days. I'm like, let me up this lot size. <laughs> you know? So I started upping my leverage, which was too big and too much for the amount that I had in my account. I started losing. Wow. And from losing, I started revenge trading, and from revenge trading, re revenge trading, I blew a count, right? My emotions was tied to it, okay? So so you don't want to revenge trade, you don't want to get your emotions tied to it, because remember, it's numbers. One thing about numbers is that they're predictable in the sense of, hey, this is happening right now, this, what, this is what happened before, let me study the market, let me see my points of entry. Let me see uh, where it hit the two, the two, uh, my mind just went to the blank of the word, it'll come back to me. The two uh, points, and do I know if, if, if it's a buy or if it's a sale, right? So study the actual art of it without being emotionally attached to it. Um, so I blew an account, and uh, I got back in there, and I blew another account. And I got back in there, and every time we're in profit, but it's it's about managing, right? So we're we're strictly in profit now, uh, and we study the system. We study the uh, the live trading rooms that Mr. King was talking about. These people who are coming up here uh, and trading and telling you how to do it and what they're doing and what they're looking at and their mindset behind it. Very 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 important. Um, also, right now, you don't want to be mostly attached to the monies that you invested in your live account. You do not want to be mostly attached, right? That is the quickest way. <laughs> Make a big Blow mistake. it. Blow it. All right, because remember, remember, remember we're, we're learning the system of trading, right? So it takes money 
to earn more money. <coughs> so if you're attached, you still have this hold on what's in there. Yeah. And whatever you hold will vanish. That's good. Okay? That's good, brother. So, so, so you want to be free. Have a good energy. And some of this may go over, I don't know, everybody here looks pretty, pretty knowledgeable on an energy tip. But most people don't understand the energy side of things, the thought. It's very important. If you are not balanced for that day, do not trade. Because your mind, like the chemicals in your mind, are not functioning to read these charts like how they should be read. But they're not functioning in a sense of, I can win, or this is what it's going to take, or I need to leverage my account. Your energy has to be right. Listen to me. Your energy has to be right when you're going into these trades. So we talked about the food side of things, the mindset of trading, the skill part, right? We talked about the energy, uh, the energy behind it, and the goal, goal setting of your account, your daily account, every day that you want to invest. Uh, the fifth thing that I want to talk about um, is rest. And not rest from a sleep standpoint, but rest from the market, especially on weekends. You want to unplug. This is this is a system to where you need to unplug. I know uh, a lot of us probably done network marketing before, uh, and we don't teach an unplug. We teach stay plugged in. No, 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 no. In trading, you have to unplug. <laughs> Listen to me. In trading, you have to yeah, unplug. Okay, <laughs> seriously. Please write that down. You have to. And whatever is your hobby and something that you love to do, you need to supplement that with, with the studying, whether it's over the weekend. And when it's a rest, when, a, when the markets are closed on Saturday and most of the day of Sunday, you want to infuse yourself in whatever your hobby is, whether it's music or, or golf or riding a horse or, or food, healthy food, right? You want to really unplug and balance that. Because what's gonna happen is because you're dealing with numbers, everything is gonna to start to look the same. Everything is gonna to start to sound the same, right? Because you didn't give your mind rest, right? Remember, remember, the brain is a muscle too. So if you're not giving it time to really process what's coming in, everything is gonna look the same and every trade that you enter, more than likely, will not, will not prosper. Uh, so the five things that we went over um, was the the mindset of trading, the eating, which is the balance side, the uh, the resting, the energy of trading, right? And the fifth thing was what? I'm plugging. I'm plugging. I'm plugging. I'm plugging. Everybody got that written down. It's important now. I'm trying to leave it to your memory. Okay, unplugging is very, you know, it's funny, when you're in front of a room, I don't even know why I'm looking over here, there's nothing over here, but, <laughs> but I guess it's like a, a unplug real quick, so, um, yeah, so everybody got it, kind of, the, the mindset of trade, what it, what it goes to take, the vocabulary, we gave you some words that you want to focus on, the pits, the lot sizes, the stop loss, the point of entry, the point of entry is very important, uh, and your broker, right? IML has about six to seven brokers that are compatible with the system. Uh, you want to look at these brokers if you haven't already connected these brokers. Uh, I'll be here, um, I don't know what's after me, but I'll be here for a second to uh, help those who haven't attached their broker to IML. Um, and the most important for everybody that's new, which is pretty much everybody, is the demo account. Open that demo account today. The markets are closed, so the demo account will be closed too. But Sunday around 6, the markets open back up and uh, 6 Central Center time. If you want to plug in, start, start just going inside of the uh, demo account and playing with it. And give yourself time. Give yourself time. Do you need a broker when you have just a demo account? Or you get the broker just for... No, you need a broker. Yeah, you need a broker for the demo account too. But it is no payment for the, the demo account through the broker. Okay, so only when you go live. Only when you go live is connecting your broker with IML. Is there a host fee? Uh, typically about 5 
five to seven dollars. Um, yeah, guys. So the mindset, the studying, give yourself time to learn. Give yourself time to learn. Don't get frustrated. And I want you to understand balance uh, as far as the network, network marketing side of it and the trading side of it. Uh, balance that. Please balance that. Please balance that. Um, and focus and focus and focus and learn. Uh, and unplug every weekend or whether it's throughout the evening, the U.S. time, uh, unplug maybe. Uh, just you, you will find what works for you, right? And you want to find what type of trader you want to see. So in, in, a, in, a, in a system of learning and trading, you will figure out, hey, I'm a day trader. Hey, I, 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 I like the fundamental side of things. Hey, I, I like to use this type of platform. Hey, I'm a long-term trader. I entered this trade on, on Monday and I might pull out on Thursday because I've studied this pair for the past month, you know, and I looked at this, this pair for the for the past month and seen what happens and what happens over a four-day period. So you'll figure out what type of trader you are. Um, and just, just be patient. Be patient. Remember, remember I said over a 90-day period, 63 days of trading, compounding your account 10% a day. But a $50 account will turn into $21,000, right? So be patient. It's okay. Be patient. The Forex market is not going anywhere. And I, I know they used to say that there are certain industries that's recession-proof uh, that I know Warren Buffett talked about, like the alcohol industry, the coffee industry, the tobacco industry. Those are all great, but they operate on one particular currency. This is really recession proof because it operates on all currency. So no matter what's going on, even in the USD dollar, you don't have to trade USD. <laughs> trade something else, you know, and get the profit, right? You can even, tr I'm not gonna go that far. So, win, win. <laughs> yeah, go there. Win. <laughs> no, no, we don't, not today. So win, study, uh, sacrifice. You don't have to sacrifice for sleep. And if anybody tell you different, then your, your success is going to be much longer than those who are willing to give up sleep for a short period of time. Uh, balance with eating right. Uh, definitely cutting out pop. I can't tell you what to do. Cut, well, I'm in the South now. It's called soda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cutting out those things, drinking water, uh, your fruits and veggies, that's definitely important. Brown rice, anything that's white is pretty not healthy. Not healthy for you. Right. So brown rice, uh, any you know wheat things, those are important to to balance yourself to where when it's nighttime of learning, you can actually register, right? Register what's happening. You don't want to just be be there because someone said, hey, it's a good idea to listen to these. No, you want to actually be in that moment and be able to receive. So so I'm, I'm leave you with this. I want everybody to say I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. For increase. For increase. I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. receiver. To be an increase. To be an increase. For others. For, for others. others. All right. Amen. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I want to say this. Um, we're going to make sure that, that when you schedule permits, we're going to get Gregory back and give him an hour. And the other thing is, don't forget to get your tickets from Gregory to tell you what we're getting ready to do before I, before I bring Damon up to share. Here's what we're getting ready to do, all right? We have a webinar we're doing live in this room at 1 o'clock, right? So I'm getting ready to give you a, a quick training, about a 20-minute training on how to fast start, how to get your business to your three people in your first week or less, your 12 people in your second week or less, and $1,000, 30 people. Right. Uh, also, don't forget, get with Damon. So, at one o'clock to one thirty, we're going to do a live webinar. So, you can I sent y'all to apply. You, if you got people in other states or the city, send it to them. Right. We're only doing that for twenty-five minutes. We go through that fast. Okay. We don't have time to elaborate. And then we're going to train again on the marketing side for only thirty more minutes after that. Right. So, if you need to, while we're doing a live webinar, if you want to. Go get some coffee around the corner if you need to, you know, 
Little boys' room is 5102. Women's 5103. Okay, this is a code. But uh, I want to bring Damon up real quick, and then I'm going to do a quick 20-minute training. Don't forget the tickets for the Super Saturday. Um, you guys, uh, that David E. Monite is going to do. And they're doing the Super Saturday where? At the uh, Marriott West Chase. Marriott West Chase, which is in the gallery. Uh, no, Marriott West Chase is off West Harm. The West Chase is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Marriott where we used to do. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, nice, nice hotel. Damon, you want to share something? Give it up for Mr. Damon. First of all, how everybody doing? All right. Awesome. 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 All right. I just wanted to share something uh, with you all. And I, I feel like, I'm, and I went back in time, in the time capsule. Tell you what, because that young man right there reminds me so much of David when I first met David <laughs> at my office when I was on Harvard for total for oh, YTP. And one thing I can honestly say, I don't, I don't know. I think Mr. King always find out when I'm going to Alabama, and then he go to Tennessee. Because <laughs> every time he every time he goes to Tennessee. I tell him I'm gonna be there. He drove you know, there, by no matter what a situation came up, and I end up having to go to Alabama, and I say, "Well, Mr. Ken, you only you only 80 miles away. I'm on my way because I was gonna go the next day. Because I got up and didn't get no sleep and drove all the way to Alabama and then ended up in Tennessee. But one thing I can honestly say for the new people, I love Mr. King and Miss King. We've been running together for years. And if Mr. King called me and tell me he got something, I'm going to listen. I mean, I remember David when David didn't even have a car. And I he's a millionaire. You know, David called me one day about, uh, what was it? I think it was another, it was another business venture. I didn't have time to listen. Hey, man, uh, David, I'm tired up right now. I got 50 million things going on. How much it costs to get in? 500, all right, let me get you my card number. One thing you're going to learn about this team, dealing with Mr. King, dealing with David, we family. And if you in this business, you can't get hold of them, you need a place to have a meeting, y'all call me. My office is right there, across, right, right across from here. You need my office, you call me and tell me, you got to be here before 4 o'clock, though. Or... If it's the weekend, come. You know, if you need a place, you ain't got no place to be, they on this side of town, just call. Set up a appointment. You sit right there in my office. And do. You know, then I'm, like, I'm in Tennessee looking for a hotel. And Mr. King tells me, hold on right quick, let me see something. A guy I didn't even know hmm. told me I'd stay at his house. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that moved me. This man don't even know me. But when you're in this business, it's family. I've called Mr. King at 2, 2 33 o'clock in the morning. I don't recommend y'all do that. <laughs> you know, but that, that, that's just what we do. We family and we look out for each other. Yeah. And I'm not going to say too much, but I'm, I just want to let y'all know that. Uh, for the people, the people that's in, you know, if you need me, you can most definitely call me. You know, if you need a meeting place, we can do Saturday or Sunday. Or if you need it during the week, because I got to be at work at 5 o'clock. You know, at the post office, post office ball, I got to go. And that young man back there in the corner, that's Mr. Preston. He was at work last night with me. I don't know why, but I, I knew out of the three people that I told, I knew he was going to be I found it right here, and, and I'm glad you was able to make it. Yeah. All, right. All right, so real quick, because we got a live webinar we're going to do at, at uh, 1 o'clock. So if y'all got the flyer, y'all can send it out. So I'm going to do a quick training in the afternoon. After I do the webinar, which is only going to take about 25, 30 minutes, 
going to do another quick training and end. So those of you who want to stick around, if you can't stick around, I understand some people got to go to work. All right. Uh, I want to make sure, though, uh, I'm going to pass this out. And this is in a packet, so we're going to email this to our entire team. We're completing it. It's also going to have trading information in it as well in the packet. But today, right now, I'm just going over this, and I want y'all to, I'm not sure if I even printed enough of them. Y'all might have to show me. Uh, and I may have some I can give it to you. If you sit by your husband, too, he can. I'm going to point the, did y'all feel this here? I probably should have had the air in the back. I see some people sweating. Y'all sweating? All right, Sean, can you do me a favor so I can, I can uh, start on this? Can you uh, this uh, actually, I think that's the only one. Um, all right, so we're going to just go through it, and we'll get some more printed later. Uh, anybody uh, did not get this one? Y'all didn't get this one, all right? Y'all didn't get this one. It is more so, let me get into that now. Now, I actually going to email everybody, but I just want to go over this real quick. All right, so let's go over this real quick. And one of the things I do when you, when I get, y'all get the back and y'all can choose to do this, you don't have to. But I print them out and I make a notebook. You can get this from a notebook from Walmart, a little or nothing, okay? I get the three ring and I get those to put in it. Now, you're also going to have this online, because when we send it to you, you can download it. It'll be right on your computer, okay? But I do this to take with me, to have with me, okay? So real quick, I'm only going over three things right now. The first one is you can't build a huge business without a unified culture and a unified system. Now, on the 23rd and 24th, Mr. Imunite may is, is probably going to roll out a system. Yeah. 24th. Uh, say it again. 24th. 24th, 25th, yeah. He's probably going to roll out a system. Right now, he, he he did a call for us, and he gave us the five kind of steps he was going to do. And so, uh, but from that, I want to start off. Our team, in the 21 years that I've always built, actually, in the 18 years that I've built full time, we've always had a culture. And here's our culture right here, <laughs> right? That one sheet I sent you, it says unified culture. And these are things we commit to. I'm not going to train on them today, for time's sake. But you can look them up, and then you're going to hear us train on them. We perish without a vision, right? So we have a vision. Our vision is Vision 300. Y'all might see that in the text. What does that mean? Well, that means our goal is to help 300-plus people earn $1,000 a month or more within 90 days. We already got two. My son was the first. Somebody else did it. I don't want to mention this. Gotta shout them out. Then we got a third one coming up. A third one's coming up. He'll probably do it today. He's only two away. Actually, he's only one away. All right? All right, so loyalty, unity. See, if we flow as a team and we unify, nobody can stop us. We'll grow one of the biggest teams uh, that you've ever been a part of. And we've done it before, okay? Recognition, we're always going to be recognizing edifying people. Integrity and character, that's a big one, number six. Always do the right thing. Never try to hurt people. Always love on people. Never lie, never exaggerate, okay? And then personal development. You're going to have to talk about personal development a lot, not today. All right, so the next one that I want to go over is the power 30. So here's what we do. When I sign a new person up, you sign a new person up, our first goal is to help them make their money back. If you help them make their money back, then they end it free, right? Right, now how do we do that? Well, the first thing we want to do is get that 145 to disappear. So what I do is I have them fill this out. Now, if you're a go-getter, you're going to fill out more than one sheet. But most people, if you ever get in the network marketing, they always want you to do a list of 100. And most people never do it because it's too many in their mind. So if you know, this is psychological. If you notice, it says power 30 list, right? And the power 30 is in what color? Red. It's in red. red. People, when they see stuff in red, they think it's important. So when I get them to do it, on the side it says, tell me a little bit about them, and then it says the four pointers. At the bottom it talks about the four pointers. Right? Center of influence, meaning they know a lot of people. Right? Um, positive attitude, get along with others. 
three says means to get started, you gotta have the money, and then four says coach one training. Okay? Now, if they have number three and number one, that's what they write in the box. They have all four, write all four. Now what I do as a coach, as a leader, I always want to talk to the ones who have all four first. Because chances of them getting started are higher than the others. Right? But I talk to all of them. So here's the thing, people make 30 lists, right? And I give this to them the day they join. What I say to them is, uh, I want to help you get your investment back. You make investment. I want to help the 145 go away. So they make that 30 list. Then I teach them this. Same thing you got to do when you get a new person. We're going we're gonna to have trainings on this, audios on this, vid, uh, uh, even videos to teach the PS3. So the PS3 stands for peak interest, show the business, three-way call. You see that? Now, if you notice on the peak interest, it's like seven things. You don't share all seven. You only share a power phrase when they start. But what happens is you share one peak interest, you share one thing on show the business, we show them videos, right? And then you get them on a three-way. If they don't join, guess what we do? We share another peak interest, but it'll be something different. Maybe an on-demand call means it's recorded. Or, you know, stories that sell. That's a testimony. That's what that means. Stories sell, facts tell, right? So that's a testimony. Ask for a favor. Sometimes you got to go to a person and just ask for a favor. Hey, I need a favor. Can you uh, look at this video? Because the whole goal of the peak interest is to get them to the video. Ain't no right or wrong peak interest. I mean, we write up phrases, but ain't no right or wrong. It's just get them to the video. You got to drag them. And then you got to get them to the three-way caller. Now it says, edify the three-way caller. We're going to do more training on that. Introduce them, then mute yourself and be quiet until call is turned back to you. Don't be buttoning in. Don't be trying to throw your two cents in because it's like you, you gang in the person, ganging up on the person. And with me, if you do it the first time, I'm going to be quiet. Then I'm going to talk to you a little bit later and say, hey, remember we said don't talk. You do it a second time, you're going to hear my bell. So I'm going to hang up. <laughs> because what do you need me for if you want, you're going to try to talk over me, right? right? I'm not hanging up out of disrespect to you. But I don't want us to come across trying to gang up on your person because they're not going to, when you call them again, they ain't going to answer the phone. Does that make sense? All right? So this is all we do to build a big team. Listen, my first week or so, I never left the house. I did about seven or eight of these. And I haven't even got to all of them yet. And I just start calling because here's the, here's the deal. If you get 30 people on the list and you do a PS3 with me or you know, one of the leaders, we're going to sign up 8 to 12 of your people. The only reason, if you haven't signed up people, is because you haven't done enough of these. Some, some of you are, have only done maybe one three-way or four three-ways. You've been in two weeks, three. No, you got to average minimum one a day. How, how many personals have you brother has now? Three. He's yeah. a uh, platinum he's, 150 he's, now. He's, he's done at least, I would say at least, eight to ten three-ways. Probably more than that. How many would you think he's done? About 12. About 12, right? More. So he's got three people. His third one just signed up right there, right? But here's the deal. Some of those others, they're in this position. We went through the, we the three-way. Now we bam family them back to another peak interest. We took on them. Then we bam family them to another show of biz. That's why I text y'all so much stuff. That's your ammunition to drip on the person after we went through the three-way. Because remember this. People, I mean, all, everybody doesn't get in on the first time. It takes them more exposure. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're getting ready to break for a little bit. I'm going to do this webinar. Y'all can stay in the room if you want. you got to be quiet, though, if we're doing a webinar in the room. Get coffee, whatever. Then at 1.30, we're going to do another 30-minute training. And I'm going to reiterate, but slower, what I just went over. And then we're going to be done at 2 o'clock. I think we got we got to exit this room right yeah. at 2. Well, we have access to 1.00. Yeah, yeah, so at 2 o'clock, there's going to be an opportunity meeting done by two people in this room. You don't even know. I'm picking you to do it. You're doing it. I'm pushing you out there. You're getting it done. All right? And so if y'all have guests you want to invite, I know you got to go get some sleep, bro. Or if you got guests coming, fine. Everybody's welcome to stay, but at 2, we're going to move over to another room. All right? So with that said, I'm getting ready to set up for the webinar. Y'all can send the video. All right? But remember, the simplicity of building this business, this